hey beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel so we are in the fashion room we are in the fashion room okay guys so um, today i'm gonna be sharing with you how you can ta -da, style your shirt how is my scarf falling off hold on let me tie my scarf <laughs> i need to remake my hair so hold on guys come on okay hold on I'm quite I'm quite fast right okay so as I was saying um in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can style your big shirts different ways you can style and rock it and look fantastic and fabulous like I always say fashion is whatever you call it and what makes you um a fashion icon or a stylist is your ability to be able to um, recreate from what you have before we move on my name is Oguma welcome to my youtube channel Test of Awards TV is a lifestyle channel so I share food vlogs fashion tips hacks DIYs and everything that makes life beautiful and much much fun and easier so um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up share this video with your friend and come on in 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 come on all right guys so um the very first style we're gonna be styling is this one okay so i call it the v-neck or whatever cliche right so um you're gonna wear your shirt all right so let's wear our shirt so what what you're gonna be doing is to take the color of the shirt and tuck it in just like i'm doing right now so let me move closer so you tuck in the color of your shirt like this Okay, make sure it's well tucked in. You start to button from somewhere here. So you start to button from somewhere here. Don't button from here. So you start to button from somewhere here. So, and button about two of it like this. So you take both end of the shirt in here, this hole here, in here like this. Okay. And you take this very one in here like this so you have something like this and you have your back like this you can try to adjust it depending on how short or long you want the crop to look okay so you have something like this at the back and you have something like this in front so you have this and what you want to do is to give it a knot okay so you give it a knot like this and then you have your shirt simple and short you can decide to roll the sleeve or just let it be the way it is so let's try to roll the sleeve you can decide to have your sleeve rolled up or just leave it the way like this but i think i prefer this roll up sleeve so whichever one you want so you can wear the style on a legging like i am right now or you can wear it on a short skirt or whatever you want to wear it it goes absolutely with whatever you're wearing it with so style number two is this very style and of course what we also need is our shirt and let's get this out So what you want to do is you have you wear your shirt from the back like this so you have your shirt like this like this okay so let me button this so you have so what you want to do is to have something like this okay guys so you have something like this and then what you do is to take it back you see what I did? You see what I did? So you have something like this. Like this. Mm -hmm. Then take it from here and wear it back like this. So you start to button from where um, it feels tighter. So for me, the second hook feels tighter. 
So I'm going to start buttoning up from there. So, show you button like this, and like this. So you probably have something like this. So the next thing you want to do is go to the back and tuck in the collar of the shirt. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to just tuck it in. Tuck in the collar of the shirt like this. So we have something like this. Can you guys see? So we have something like this. So the back is perfect. A little bit. Then... Perfect now. So for here, so you take the two M of the shirt and again and again you put it into one of the button um the space between one button okay and do the same for this put it down here down here so you have something like we had in the first style okay and you knot it again So we have something like this. You have your off shoulder. Make sure you adjust it very well so um, all of this is not visible. So what I would do in that step is to tuck it in from inside like this. So you take it in from inside. So, so we have something like this. You can again fold the sleeve of the shirt like I'm doing right now. Depending on your personality or wherever you want to wear it to, so you can take the shoulder down. So we have the back looking like this and the front looking like this. So if you like, you can wear a camisole. If you like, you take off the camisole, whatever style you want to achieve, whatever personality you are. So style number three is this. <laughs> for style number three so you're gonna hold your shirt like this and you do something like a cross okay so you cross your shirt like this so i have one tip here and the other tip here like this okay let's start again so this is your shirt right this is your shirt so you're gonna take this down like an x i don't know how else to explain it so we're gonna make something like an x so we're gonna be having something like this like when you want to tie something okay so you cross the shirt and um you have this like this and this one comes up okay and you cross it you see the way i crossed it and we have this so we're having we're having this in the middle can you see we're having this in the middle and remember your color make sure you always tuck it in so it doesn't keep popping out so i'm just gonna tuck that in where's the second one well the second one is in already so we have something like this right okay so we have something like this so you want to go to the back Okay, so and try to button up some. So let's button one or two, or you can just tie it up from there. But let me just try and button one or two. So I button one. So. What you're gonna do is to take this one like this So guys, so we have something like this. Can you see me? 
So we have something like this in the back and we have something like this in the front. So again, depending on your personality or you can decide to take off the camisole or just rock it like this. So you have yourself a crop top. Also, you can decide to fold the sleeve or just leave it like this. So guys, you have style number three. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Okay guys, um, style number four is this very style and I'm going to show you how to achieve it using the same shit. Remember the color, so you're going to fold it in and you have something like this. So take it this way. So you have it like this, have it on your shoulder like this and take the sleeves of the shirt like this, okay? And have it over your neck like this. So, you're gonna tie the sleeves this way and tie it again so it so it is firm. Then you're gonna take two um, hem of the shirt and tie it at the back like this. So we have something like this. So if you like, you can tuck this in just like I'm doing right now. So, so we have something like this. So this is our style number four. I really like this style a lot. So for the final style, we're going to be using something else other than the shirt. We're going to be using a uh, waist trainer. If you have a corset, uh, I think corset will be much better. I left my corset in Nigeria. So I'm going to be using a waist trainer to achieve this very style. So let me take this off. I like to have that V neck effect so I'm just gonna tuck it in so I can have that V neck and just have a total different look from the previous one so so I'm gonna button the shirt all the way down so as you can see I'm buttoning the shirt inside out or should I say outside in okay so you're gonna button like this the idea is to give the shirt a different um, look from the original look. So, so as you can see, look at what I have here. So you button it, you take your button hook like this and take it in like this and button outside in. So after you're done buttoning your shirt all the way down, as you can see, so you're going to take your little corset or your waist trainer. I do not have a waist trainer, so I'm going to be using a corset. So you're going to have it wrapped around your waist. Sorry, it's usually very difficult to put. So we're gonna have something like this. So if you like, you can style it with the skirts and a boot, or you just wear your leggings or whatever. And also you can decide to fold the sleeves or just leave it the way it is. Whichever one suits you. So guys, you have it. Tell me in the comment section which of the styling is your favorite. Also let me know if you're gonna try to replicate the styles that I have just shared with you. And also um, let me know what other thing you would like for me to style and show you. Remember to give me a thumbs up guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Share this video with your friends. And um, till we see next time, remember to stay safe and stay out of trouble. 
Bye, guys.